Hello everybody and welcome to the first video in the machine learning in Python tutorial series. Now the aim for this series is to teach you how to implement various machine learning algorithms in your Python code and we're going to be using a module called sqlearn to perform these algorithms. Now we're going to be talking about um, a few algorithms. Um, all of these are going to be very basic. Um, so this is going to be a basic practical machine learning tutorial series. It's not going to go too in depth into theory, although uh, we are going to be learning about the theory in like a brief overview. It's like just how the algorithm works on a basic level. Um, but we're really going to be focusing on how to actually implement it in the code. So we're going to talk about how it works on a brief level. Then we're going to implement it in code. Um, and we're going to be learning about various algorithms such as uh, linear regression, support vector machines, k-means clustering, etc. And if you don't know what the heck those mean, uh, we're going to be learning about those in this tutorial series. So yeah, that's pretty much it uh, for the introduction of this series. Now, before we actually get into um, writing code, which will be in the next video, we're actually going to be talking about what is machine learning, as a lot of people want to just jump right into coding uh, machine learning but they don't really know what machine learning uh, actually is so let's define what machine learning is so machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence now how a machine learning algorithm works at a fundamental level is basically it finds patterns and it learns from data all right then based on what it learned it gives a prediction now if you don't really understand what this means uh, let's just take an example say you wanted to predict um if an image is a car or if it's a motorcycle all right so what you will do is in an ml algorithm you would have a data set that will consist of all these images of cars and uh motorcycles uh, then you'll have a label that corresponds to each image and basically what that label will say is if it's a motorcycle or a car so let's say you have 20,000 images of cars and then you have well 20,000 labels uh, that say a car right and then same thing for motorcycles now what an ml algorithm will do is it'll learn from that data set and it'll find patterns in cars then it will know based on the label that okay so these patterns correspond to a car so if i see an image that has these kind of patterns i'll give a prediction and i'll predict that it's a car and it'll do the same thing for motorcycles and then what you can do after it's actually um, done learning from that data set um, you can actually predict or make a prediction so you can give it a brand new image that the algorithm has never seen um, and then the algorithm will hopefully predict right if it's a car or motorcycle so that's basically the gist of what machine learning actually is um, and this can be applied to many different uh, tasks um, not only classification um, there are a ton of other things that you can do uh, but yeah that's basically what machine learning is again on a brief level if you really do want to learn the math behind it, I would encourage probably reading some research papers uh, on machine learning. So yeah, that's that. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to be looking at um, the modules that we're going to need for this tutorial series. Now for this tutorial series, we're basically just going to need three modules, maybe more along the way in this series. Uh, but for now, all we need is three modules, those being sklearn, pandas, and numpy. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to quickly address that this series is not for beginners to programming um, or Python. Um, a lot of people, they are beginners. They like, just started writing their first um, Hello World program, and they just want to get into machine learning. Um, that's not how it works. You need to know how to program before you write a complex program <laughs> all right so yeah that's that i uh, just want to quickly address that if you are a beginner to uh programming or python um then make sure to check out my python basic series i'll have a link in description to that as well as my intermediate series so yeah just a quick uh disclaimer there 
All right, so we're gonna need uh, three modules, as I just said um, a few seconds ago. SKLearn, NumPy, and Pandas. All right, now first let's talk about what these modules are. All right, and what they what's the functionality of these modules? So SKLearn is the module uh, for machine learning. It basically it has a ton of machine learning algorithms that you can use with it. Um, and yeah, it basically just has all the algorithms and to actually run those algorithms, you're you're gonna normally need SKLearn uh, unless you want to write out those algorithms by hand, which will take uh, hundreds of lines of code. So if you want to do that, uh, be my guest. But uh, yeah, we're gonna need SKLearn. So pip install SKLearn. Then we're also gonna need pandas. Now, what is pandas? Uh, pandas is basically a data science, uh, data analysis module. I'm probably gonna make a tutorial series on pandas um, in the future. But basically, what it's for is it's just really, really good at loading in data and basically just working with data, right? So let's say you wanted to load in an Excel file, right? You can do that with like two lines of code in pandas. Um, and then you can actually work with that data and clean it up and do all sorts of stuff with data. And the, the actually the hardest part of machine learning is not implementing the algorithm. It's actually cleaning up your data so that you can actually use it in your program. So we're going to need pandas for that. So this pip install pandas. Oh, by the way, if you're on Mac or Linux, um, I'll probably do pip3 install and then whatever package, all right? So pip install pandas. Then finally, we're also going to need NumPy. Now, NumPy is a module that's meant to work with arrays, all right? So let's say you wanted to work with arrays, um, which you normally do in a lot of different kinds of data and machine learning. Um, you're going to be working with arrays. Now, if you... If you're going to be working with arrays and you want to, you know, reshape the arrays, um, you want to remove columns, rows from arrays, do whatever with arrays, you're probably going to need NumPy. So do pip install NumPy. All right. And again, pip3 if you're on Linux or Mac. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the installations. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, hope you all learned something from the introduction. Um, stay tuned for the next video on the series. We're actually going to be getting into linear regression, at least the first part of linear regression. Um, and we're actually going to be writing code in the next video. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If you haven't already and you want to see more programming videos, make sure to subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have an amazing day.